What's happening, my beautiful people? So today, uh, I'm going to tell you about a little story. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I was contacted by this company out of New York um, called Preferred Fragrance. And they asked me if I would review a few of their fragrances. And I said, of course, yeah. So uh, that's what we're going to do today. So I hope you stick around. Um, they're nice fragrances. Um, I'm looking forward to reviewing them. Uh, I hope you stick around. Don't forget, if you do like everything that I have to say, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe, like, and comment. I really appreciate it. It helps me out. And it also keeps you informed as to when I uh, put out new videos, which are always Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Uh, so stick around, and we'll talk to you in a few minutes, all right? Take care. Bye. So what's up, my beautiful people? Uh, welcome to PR Sets, where you get uh, fragrance reviews for the common man. So I'm going to be talking about uh, eight fragrances today, a uh, real quick one. But uh, these are fragrances from a company called Preferred Fragrance. Uh, they sent me these fragrances uh, last week, and I've been wearing them all week. I have notes. I keep notes, uh, so that way I can give you a good uh, idea of what these things smell like. So, so here's a little excerpt from... Uh, preferred fragrance website and uh, kind of gives you an idea of who they are. We use only the best ingredients available to craft our custom unisex fragrances, lotions, body washes, soaps, and body mists. Uh, we don't make uh, just fragrances. We make memories for all. Our nostalgia perfumes are gender neutral, never any animal testing, always free of all banned ingredients. So they're phthalates free, paraben free, and they're cruelty free. Um, they are, a lot of them are considered unisex and more so I think the nostalgia line. So they have a couple of different lines. They have the ones they sent me are the nostalgia line and their uh, distillery uh, uh, line. So we're going to go through uh, each one um, and I'll give you an idea of what they smell like. Uh, so the first one, their bottles are really nice actually. I love the color of their bottles. Uh, so the way they sell their bottles is a uh, Two ounce, they do have samples like these, uh, but they're two ounce bottles, 60 ml, and they're, they're, they're around $20, so they're not super expensive. Um, and let's get into it and see what we think about these, these fragrances. So the first one, oh, and I told you guys I was gonna come up with some way of doing this, so I, I just cut them a little longer. I made my own little strips and cut them a little longer so that way I have a way of doing it. It might be a little quirky, but um, it should work. So give me a second. <laughs> So the first one is called uh, West Coast. Now West Coast is considered to be uh, crisp, cool, uh, memories of hiking on a cliff above a rocky shoreline with notes of sea salt, heliotrope flowers, and woody aromatic cedar wood. Um, and this one, when you first spray it, yeah, you get that sea salt um, scent right away. I consider the West Coast uh, fragrance more feminine than, than uh, male, but it's a very nice scent. Um, as it starts to dry down, you start smelling that heliotrope flower. Now heliotrope flower has scents of vanilla, spicy licorice, which kind of gives it a sweet scent to it too. Um, it's very floral, and then somewhere around the dry down, you start getting a little chocolate. Um, and I think that's also from the heliotrope flower because uh, heliotrope flower also has a scent of marzipan and marzipan has a, a kind of scent to uh, almonds and chocolate aromas. So I think they were, that's where it comes through. So I like this scent, it's nice, but like I said, I think it's more feminine than, than male. So that's uh, West Coast Travel. Um, the next one is Out Till Dawn. And Out Till Dawn, the way they may say it, create an, creates an adventure you'll never forget with comforting lavender steeped in seawater, uh, dashed with a hint of refreshing mint. So its notes are seawater, lavender, and mint. Um, it is fresh. It gives me the impression of right out of the shower. So when you smell this one, It reminds me of something. Uh, it has a soapy kind of scent to it. Uh, it's v definitely very, very fresh. You get that 
<clears throat> excuse me, you get that seawater scent, but it's it's very like an aquatic shower scent, like right out of the shower you put it on, it's relaxing. And that's what you get throughout the whole thing. It's it's you get some mint, you get some lavender, and you just get that shower out of the shower scent. So this would be one that I'll take a shower, I'll get out of the shower and I'll, I'll just spray some on in the evening to just relax me because it smells, it smells kind of like that, right? So that's a nice one too. Midnight Madness is one of my favorite. Now Midnight Madness, I find more manly than, than uh, feminine. Uh, Black Bottle kind of reminds me a little of uh, Kenneth Cole Black Bold, uh, the way the bottle was set up except without the leather around it. But Midnight Madness um, has citrus, sage, and sandalwood. Uh, they're going the route of giving you just three notes. Um, and it is very citrusy, very spicy. Um, and let me try it here. Yeah, this is one of my favorite because I like it a lot. It's, it's like I said, Definitely citrusy on the opening. Um, as it starts to, to uh, dry down, you get some earthy green notes in it. And then the base is just uh, some woody notes. But it's a very, very nice scent. Now, they're not unique. I mean, they're, they're, they're good scents, but they're not gonna blow you out of the water. But uh, for less than $20 or $20 or so, they're, they're very good fragrances. On most of them, you'll have to overspray a bit um, because they, I'd say the, the projection and the longevity are moderate. They'll probably last you maybe about two hours and then you'll just have to respray. Uh, but I found that if you overspray, instead of putting like three or four sprays, just put about seven or eight sprays, uh, it lasts you a much longer time. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. This is very citrusy, very spicy, and then it tones down to like a more woody kind of scent there. So that is uh, Midnight Madness. And then the fourth one out of the Nostalgia line is called Country Cabin. Now Country Cabin has oud, vetiver, and pink pepper. And Country Cabin, when you first spray it, You do get that oud, but it's a very, very subtle oud. It is nothing like uh, oud for greatness, oud for glory, uh, any of those heavy oud scents. It's a very, very subtle oud. This to me is another really relaxing scent and I could see both male and female wearing this one. Um, you definitely get that vetiver and it's a little spicy as well. So this is another one of my, my favorites because it is it is relaxing, but it's not a heavy oud scent. So if you don't you've never been introduced to oud and you want to give it a shot, um, Country Cabin would be a good start because it's very mild oud. Um, if you smell something like uh, oud for greatness or oud for glory, and oud for glory is a clone of oud for greatness, um, and those are heavy heavy oud uh, scents. But this one. It's just a very subtle, mild oud, uh, but it's it's nice, and it's what I like about it is that it smells very relaxing. And this one is one that I would go heavy on the spray as well, but very nice. You get that vetiver, and then you get that spicy dry down, and I, I, I like it. So those are the nostalgia line ones, um, and yeah, would I recommend them? Yeah, uh, like I said, uh, which one was it that I said? is more feminine. Uh, the West Coast, I think, is more feminine, but the other three, I think, are both good for male and female. And like I said, my favorites are the Midnight Madness and the Country Cabin. Uh, those are my favorite out of the Nostalgia line. Now, the next series is their Distillery Series. And the Distillery Series are, uh, they kind of have all these these great names. There's New York Rye, there's Tennessee Whiskey Cologne, there's Alabama Moonshine, there's Kentucky Bourbon, so you get the idea. Uh, so New York Rye is the first one we're gonna talk about. This is how their bottles come. Okay, of course, a little bit bigger, and they run around $20 as well. Uh, and 
stick around because I've got a code for you where you'll get 10% off as well. Uh, so New York Rye is a, a fresh, woody, aromatic uh, blend, and it has pink pepper, cedarwood, pineapple, and leathery accords. So pineapple, leathery accords, um, if it reminds you of anything. To me, this one absolutely, and I contacted them and asked them if they did it on purpose and they said no, uh, but to me, New York Rye has a Creed Aventus scent to it. Um, it reminds me of uh, Kenneth Cole. No, Banana Republic. It reminds me of Banana Republic's uh, Black Walnut Legend as well, because Black Walnut Legend has an Aventus Creed uh, similarity to also. But yeah, when you when you spray this on. You get the pineapple, and as it starts to dry down, you get that leather, um, and it's a little spicy. But to me, yeah, I, the first thing I wrote was Creed Aventus because it smelled like it. So I like this one a lot. Out of the whole four of them uh, in the distillery series, this is my favorite because I, I enjoy this one. And again, just go a little heavier on the sprays, and it'll stick around. And for 20 bucks, guys, it's, it's, a, it's a bargain. If you want to smell a little like Creed Aventus for less than $20, you know, this is, this is a good way to go. Now, the next one here is Tennessee Whiskey. Now, if you guys have never heard the song Tennessee Whiskey by uh, Chris Stapleton, you've gotta hear it. Whether you like country or not, it is one of the most beautiful songs out there. My, my uh, girlfriend Brenda and I love that song a lot. Uh, so, Tennessee Whiskey has sandalwood, vanilla, and citrus. And when you spray this one, you do get a bit of that citrus. Um, I mean a bit of that sandalwood But what you get the most to me at least is the vanilla and citrus the vanilla is very very prominent in this one Yeah now these bottles come in 3.4 fluid ounces 100 ml um, Yeah, that's what I'm getting I get I get the vanilla more than anything and the citrus and then again as it starts to dry down well, throughout the most, mostly throughout, you get some sandalwood in there as well. It's it's a woody, vanilla scent, um, and again, it's a nice one too. It's very subtle, very mild, and yeah, I like that one. Now the next one is Alabama Moonshine. Now Alabama Moonshine says inspired by freshly cut lumber. It's mixed with notes of citrus. Uh, suede and a sensuous scent. Um, when you spray this one, you get a lime opening. Uh, but again, this is another one that I wrote a note. It's very subtle. It has a suede, a suede mist, uh, mid, and to me, it has an oak moss uh, dry down. It's very earthy in the dry down. This is one that you definitely have to overspray. I sprayed maybe like four sprays the other day and it was gone within an hour and a half or so. And then I went back and I sprayed about eight sprays and it stayed on my skin for at least like two to three hours. I even got a compliment on this one. But again, it's, they're all, to me, they're all skin scents more than anything. They, they become skin scents, but they're just nice. You can have that close, you know, encounter. They're nice to wear. But again, overspray. And then the last one is Kentucky Bourbon. And Kentucky Bourbon has leather, bergamot, and lavender in it. And this one, see I know you guys can't see how I'm doing this, but it, it's working out. Yeah, you get some bergamot in there. And the lavender. I would say the lavender is what I smell the most. And as it starts to dry down, you start smelling that, that leather. But again, not heavy. None of these are like heavy things. You don't get that, oh, this is, this is leather. Um, you know, it's not like a Tom Ford ombre leather. Um, it's just a very, very subtle sp uh, scent. And again, this is another one that you probably have to overspray. I would say, to me at least, that the distillery series is more masculine. <laughs> 
whereas the Nostalgia series is a more feminine slash masculine uh, kind of scent series. Um, but yeah, so you get that leather as it, as it starts to dry down. But yeah, it's very nice. And guys, don't forget, if you are uh, interested in my content, if it's giving you any useful information, please subscribe, please like, and uh, please comment. Let me know if there's anything you guys would like me to review. I'll try to get my hands on it. I'm still trying to get my hands on uh, Bentley for Men Intense. I actually have it in my cart, so I'm gonna be ordering that one. But yeah, I like this one again as well. So again, these uh, come in a uh, 3.4 ounce, 100 ml uh, bottle. The Nostalgia Lines come in two ounce bottles. Uh, their website is preferredfragrance.com, uh, so you can go there and order them there. Don't forget the code that you can use is PRSENSE10, and you'll get a 10% discount on anything that you buy there. So I would give it a shot. Um, again, the New York Rye is one that I would definitely recommend. Midnight Madness is another one that I would def definitely recommend. And the uh, West Coast, is another one that I would recommend, you know, out of the shower freshness uh, kind of thing. So give it a shot. Uh, keep an eye out for any more of my reviews. Uh, again, if you like this, subscribe, like, and comment. The, and make sure you put some comments down for me. And I hope you go out there and get one or two bottles. Give them a shot, like I said, for 20 bucks. You can't go wrong. Uh, and let me know, uh, if you do get one, let me know what you guys thought. Anyway, so I hope you have a great day. As always, be loved, be safe, and I will talk to you later. Take care, guys. Bye.